Adam was the first man to ever be born again. He was born from perfection to death. Spiritual death. Spiritual death. You can't make, forget the dictionary definition of death. It's totally wrong. It just, it just says the cessation of life. No. Death is being separated from God. You can't be separated from God and just hang around there, out there unconnected because man was created to have a spiritual overlord. He's not sovereign to himself. Now, he was never, ever supposed to be connected to a fallen angel. The reason Satan wanted to be connected with him is to get what he had in him. He didn't care what he got in things from, from himself or not. Satan was after what he could get out of Adam, which was his authority over this earth. So when Adam was disconnected from the life of God, Adam could have shouted that 22nd Psalm just the same as Jesus did. He was a forsaken man and connected to something he never heard of before, death. Death is being separated from the life of God. You can't make a spirit being cease to exist. Every spirit that has ever come into existence will continue throughout eternity. Spirit beings can't cease to be. Now, think about this. Adam didn't know what had happened until after it had come. He didn't know what it meant to be separated from God. He didn't know, he didn't know what hell on earth was until after it happened to him and the curse came, came out of him. He was cursed on the inside. Jesus knew full well. And in obedience to God, turned his faith loose to the Father. <sighs> and took it. It was a covenant thing. God didn't just lay it on him. He took it. And by the end of that psalm, he had left this physical body, thrown into the firing, boiling cauldron of hell that was created by God. Now God created heaven and all of its glory. No man has any idea. It has not entered into the heart of man what God has in store for those that love him. Now to that same to that same degree of how marvelous heaven is, that's how bad hell is. Because God created hell for the devil and his angels. He never intended for man to ever set foot in that place. It wasn't made to punish men in. They went there with their father, the devil. Ain't nobody but Jesus knows what the belly of that place is like, except the devil and his angels. 
No wonder they said if they had known, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory because he was in that pit. He was suffering all the death and the, the blazing hell of hell. This, the, and Satan knew he couldn't get out of there. The, a good friend of mine told me of uh, 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 the revelation that he had of this. And, and he is a championship fighter. boxer and he said I, I had one guy one time he said brother Copeland I had him in the corner and I knew he said I knew without a doubt man I got this guy where I want him and he said I'm ready to finish him off he said little did I know he had suckered me into that corner and he liked to beat my brains out here is Jesus suffering and crying, crying, crying in hell itself more than any human being would ever, ever suffer. And all of a sudden, word came bellowing down from the balconies of glory. <laughs> you can read it in the first chapter of the book of Hebrews. I'll give you the short version. That's enough! Heaven is satisfied. Whoa! Glory to God. Glory be to Jesus. And again, for unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten you. This day, not Bethlehem, this day. And again, when he brings in the first begotten, first begotten, first begotten, first begotten, Firstborn from the dead, not the only born Son of God ever, ever again. That first, that only begotten Son of God died. If you don't let Him die, you'll never know how alive you really are. Because He had to become more dead than us so we could become just as alive. As him. Mm, 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 mm. And of the angels, he said, who maketh his angels, spirits, his ministers, a flame of fire. But under the sun, he said, now remember, this is coming off from on high. And it went straight into the bowels of this earth. <laughs> Thy throne, O God. God calls things that be not as though they were. Some of you are looking at me like I just got out from under the bus. <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to quote Gloria. Get over it. <laughs> Get over it over it. <laughs> See? Yeah. When you were born again, a new creation yeah. in Christ Jesus, old things passed away, yeah. all things became new, and yeah. all things were of God. Oh, beloved, what he has bestowed upon us that we should be called, called, called the sons of God. We're just barely scratching the surface on who we are in Christ Jesus. Whew. 